I'm the relief commander here at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier for Third Relief. Born and raised, Chicago, Illinois, Southside. Oh, <laughs> by about hundreds. <laughs> Chicago Bears fan. You bet. <laughs> you, know, you know the governor? You yes. know the ex-governor there? Yes. <laughs> Born and raised, fighting the line now. The reason why I asked you all to come here to the amphitheater, in front of the amphitheater, is because I want to let you know, give you a little bit of history about the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, which is in honor to you and your buddies that lie beneath the marble stone. If you notice, when you looked at the plaza, there's four crypts located outside. There's the big one, which is World War I, and then you have the small three crypts that's in the front. To the far left is World War II, to the far right is the Korean War Unknown, and in the middle is the Vietnam. Out of the four crypts that we have located on the plaza, only three of them have remains of unknown. The Vietnam unknown remains were identified 14 May 1998. We extracted DNA from the remains and found out his name was First Lieutenant Michael J. Glassy from the United States Air Force. At that time, his body was taken from the tomb and shipped to St. St. Louis, Missouri, Jackson Bay Cemetery, which is where he is not buried now. So, out of the four cribs, we only have three. The other three will not ever be identified. The reason being is we can extract DNA from the remains. However, we will not have anyone to compare that, that DNA to because the war is dated back so far. The reason why the World War I tomb is so big is because during that time, they didn't, have, they didn't think we would ever have another war. And that's why the shrine was bit, built that big. And then once we had the following wars, we had small crypts in the front. If you notice, the guards that walk the mat, none of them have rank on their shoulder. There's only one person that wears rank. That's the changer. Reason being, we don't know the true identity of the unknown soldiers. So therefore, no one will ever outrank the unknowns. The significance behind the number 21. 21 is the highest gun salute you can give anyone. And that's the purpose of standing 21 seconds and taking 21 steps. We have a 95% failure rate here at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. So not everyone can make it through the training. The training takes anywhere from six to nine months. There's three phases of training. The first phase of training is knowledge. You have to be able to recite 16 pages of knowledge word for word. And you also have to be able to write it out. The second phase of training is uniform. Our shoes alone take four to six hours just to shine. Everything that you see on our blouse and our uniform we make them scratch. All our measurements are precise and to the T. They are not allowed to be off by not even one tick. The third part of training is outside performance. So that sequence that you see outside, that comes through hours and hours of training. Now, like stated earlier, there's a 95% failure right here. I have a lot of my new men who come down here to train and they're ready to quit. Now, what I do is, when Honor Flight get here, I send my soldiers outside to watch you all. And I will tell you why. When we get in front of you all, we say it's requested that everyone remain silent and standing. Honor Flight do not have to stand. But to see you all put a conscious effort and take all your strength to get out your chairs and salute your buddies that lie beneath that marble stone is speechless. It's priceless. So when my soldiers come back <coughs> downstairs, I let them know this is why we guard the tomb of the unknown soldier. Now I've been to Iraq. I was on a 15 month tour to Iraq. I lost some good buddies. I often have people come up to me and say, thank you for your service. Appreciate what you're doing. And I, and I appreciate that. But from the bottom of my heart, you all are the real heroes. I don't know what your mindset was before you came here. But when you leave here, I want you to know that the tomb of the unknown soldier it's a symbol to you to let you know you're not forgotten. It's a symbol to you to let you know that you highly appreciate it. And I want you to know on behalf of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, it's an honor to guard your buddies that lie beneath the marble stone. I've been here ever since September of last year. This is an infantry job position. However, I'm not infantry. A year ago, they opened the doors to non-infantry. I'm actually a food service specialist. Ever since 1958, 593 badges have been awarded. I'm badge number 590. I am the third cook and the last cook in history to ever earn a badge. So I am in history and a part of history at the same time. 
And I want you all to know that it is an honor to speak to you all. It is an honor to guard your buddies alive beneath that marble stone. And it's an honor to be in your presence. And again, I don't want you to ever forget that you ever forgot. Because in my heart and all the other tomb guards that's here at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, you all are our heroes. Because without you, we do not have the honor of protecting your buddies that lie beneath the marble stone. <coughs>